Italian Wine Podcast. Chin Chin with Italian Wine People. Hello, this is the Italian Wine Podcast. My name is Monty Walden. My guest today is Veronica Ruggeri. Hi, Veronica. <laughs> Ciao, sorry, but I have my son here with me. <laughs> How old is he? Uh, four years old in June. Okay. Alrighty, so um, you have a wine with you. Okay, yes, I have the wine with me, yes. Okay. I bring the bottle. Do I have to bring the bottle with me or after? No, it's okay. You, which, what, you, you won a, an award... Um, at five star, what was the name mm -hmm. of the wine? The name of the wine is Cartizze, uh, is what the Viadene Prosecco Superiore di Cartizze. Okay, what um, makes Cartizze special? What makes it special? Special is very special for me uh, because things about uh, uh, the name of Cartizze that remain the same since uh, six centuries of. Uh, age have this name. We are in the area of Valdoviadene. Valdoviadene, you know that change a lot of name. Valdoviadene Superiore, Prosecco, not Prosecco. Anybody doesn't know how to call it, but Cartizze is Cartizze. Um, it's a hill, 107 hectares, very close to our winery, very close to Valdoviadene. Uh, it's called also the Gold Pentagon because uh, is uh, very uh, south facing with the sun so the grape bring all the sun and, and uh, they call it the gold for that case because the the grape became a very very strong yellow um, for me is something particular because uh, uh, have a complexity of soil that the other terroir in the area of doesn't have um, we find uh, uh, it's like uh, it's a, um, a hill that uh, starts from 230 from sea level to 300 from sea level. So it's, a very, it's one of the steeper also hill that we find in the area. Is, uh, uh, the soil in uh, the northern part uh, is prevalent uh, sandstone, and, uh, um, sandstone and limestone put together and uh, the southern part is merely uh, marna and uh, another kind of rock that is called uh, um, molasse uh, that is uh, like the um, is like the limestone a little bit or sediment of the limestone okay um, what is perfect in that wine perfect okay it's not perfect but what uh, is the strength of that wine uh, is that <laughs> The, the sandstone gives the richness and the complexity. Then also is the position. We are uh, uh, in front of uh, this hill, uh, there is the river Piave, and behind, uh, like a uh, mother, there is the Prealpi the, that uh, is like, uh, that protect from the wind. So the temperature there is a little bit higher, one or two degrees during the maturation that is very uh, fundamental for preserving the aromatic part that we find in, in, that, uh, in that hill. Okay, I have a question. When you're yeah. drinking a bottle of Cartizze uh, at home or with friends, what is, a, what is a perfect dish, un abbinamento for that a wine? Dish, uh, usually, if you speak with a sommelier or something like this, this uh, they speak about the um, pasta frolla or some crostata, some cake that doesn't have cream. But in my opinion, and also now there are some tasting with something salt, for example, parmesan or um, some fish, uh, raw fish or something like that is, is perfect. And sometimes we have our mountain that have very old cheese that are perfect to ban us with the sapidity and the sweetness. Um, okay. Um. Uh, what? Uh, oh, hang on, I've got to ask you another. Ah, yeah. Okay, uh, that was the meal. Um, when we, when you were at school, were you a very good student, or were you sometimes naughty? Sorry. A scuola, come eri a scuola, brava, o fa, faceva la furba? 
No, no, sono stata anche bocciata un anno, tranquilla. <laughs> really? So you had to repeat a year? <laughs> yes, you have to repeat also. <laughs> okay, no. not the first one. <laughs> Ah, now we've found, uh, we found something uh, a little bit about you. And what about, just tell me about your family history. Is your father with you today? <laughs> Sorry? Tell me about your family history. My family history, uh, um, it should be my father also here, but he's planted a new vineyard and he another canes here. <laughs> I don't know where he is. <laughs> uh, but first of all, he's a man of the... a man of the vineyard, so vigneron. So what uh, is important for him... Uh, is uh, to have our own grapes. So in total, we have 40 hectares of grape in the area. Of Cartizia, we have one. Uh, and make uh, us special for that family. I, I think okay, that- you, you, have an amazing, you have an amazing website with an incredible amount of information about the region. Can we just see the bottle? Can you show us the bottle? Can you lift up the bottle? Ci puoi far vedere la bottiglia? Ah, ok. La bottiglia. Perché era in the fridge. <laughs> She's going to go and get it from the fridge. Um, I'm not sure if they have a lot of um, what's in the fridge, obviously. Um, not sure if her dad is uh, into hunting. Um, a lot of people are in Italy, so there could be a mix in the fridge of, of some local game, um, I guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, you've got to keep it nice and still. That's why I hold it up. Okay. No, Vittorio. Sorry. So in, your, in this Cartizze, obviously Glera is the main grape. Do you have any, uh, is there a small percentage of the other minor grape varieties that we find in Cartizze as uh, well? Sh should it be? Uh, should it be because uh, also uh, uh, Cartizze have... Yeah, there. sì. Aspetta. There no. we go. E tieni la yes, così. There we go. <laughs> Uh, should it be because uh, in the <laughs> in the Cartizia area there are also uh, some other indigenous varieties like Pereira, Bianchetta and Verdisio. It's mixed because uh, we have a very hot vines, uh, so can be. Uh, there is also a, pa a plant of Trebbiano things about it, but <laughs> is uh, because in the past you know they they don't take uh, the the bouquet of um, vines uh, all the same, but they give white. Uh, uh, grapes variety, uh, but okay, the most of all is uh, is Glera grape, also the one that we replanted are, are Glera, so yes, I think that the 99% is Glera, yes. How steep is the Cartizze vineyard? We hear it's, obviously you said it's a very hot microclimate, yes, Cartizze, it's like in a bowl. Yeah, Cartizze is very, very steep, it means about, uh, more or less, can reach, uh, I don't remember, uh, 10, 35 degree of uh, steepness, uh, mm -hmm. the, the steepest part. Then there are a little bit less uh, that reach 20 is, is depending, yes. Okay. I mean, do you have a bottle of Cartizze every day or do you drink other wines as well from the other parts of Italy? As a family, are you curious about what's going on in the rest of Italy? Oh, yes. No, of course. Yes. Uh, our what, generation, what yes. Your favorite? No, our generation is very curious, but uh, the generation of my father are more and more selfish than <laughs> of their, their wines. Uh, but no, I, uh, I drink a lot of uh, different uh, wine, for example. Mm, in this day, I have to drink because we are at home, so we drink more than other times. Uh, so uh, I, I like several wines I drink. Uh, a rosé from Marche. Last night I drink another red wine from uh, our area of Veneto. I, several, I'm very curious, so I taste a uh, lot of wine, a lot of uh, also branches of wine, so from natural, from the more uh, uh, um, uh, conventional wine, is depending. Yes. Okay, I've got one final uh, I don't question. have any one that is... Yeah. I've got uh, one final question. You're in a restaurant with your wine. Uh, with friends or whatever, and the sommelier comes over with your wine and opens the bottle and says, uh, oh, this is a great wine, and he or she comes out with 55 different Sapori flavors. What do you, do you say? Do you, do you, um, are you embarrassed about that, or do you let him talk, or do you say, no, we, we normally only have, say, three flavors in our wine? Sai quando esagerano un po' i sommelier? Sì, questo uh, vino c'ha questo arancia, yeah. 55,000 different flavors. What do you do? 
Why? <laughs> it's the bad also because uh, sometimes I think they invented. I don't know if in their mind they ever heard and uh, taste some um, uh, something that they say uh, are very. Uh, I, I, sometimes I'm a, I'm a read because I find it also I, I like to read also the um, I don't know the recensioni the what are they written about my wine that uh, they give the impression and they say what <laughs> this one yes I don't find it is is very is very funny uh, but the nowadays that doesn't exist anymore this figure I think so it's very relative the wine now. it's changed a lot the, the mind. Uh, that's okay, a, final question. I've got a final question. Uh, what does the future hold for Ruggeri? The future? Yeah, you pro progetti, initiative, what have you got lined up uh, up your sleeve? New vineyards, uh, new yes. wines? Yes, okay. Uh, but for the culture, maybe there are... Uh, uh, stay in, there are a project, but now it's a little bit uh, stop it to have like um, houses for rent. We have, uh, we, have the, um, we are very lucky because each of our vineyard uh, have a house, a whole house inside. So we wanted to uh, rebuild it and make like houses for the tourists, uh, for people that want to come in our, our area to taste wine. In the Brilliant. other case, for the wine, um, only for the wine, I, I would like to do a still Prosecco because I think it is a good idea to taste the basis of the Prosecco, not to be sparkled. Okay, for making people understand that it is a, a very good soil for the winemaking, maybe we don't, uh, and the aim that I wanted to have uh, is uh, to uh, make the Prosecco longer, get it longer in the time, because the, uh, his uh, um, strength is to be fresh and uh, quick to drink, uh, but after two years, uh, um, he doesn't have more this freshness, this uh, flavor that is the characteristic. But I think with the work we can do it for making a wine that can dower a little bit longer. I okay, and so in 50 years time, uh, the uh, Prosecco region will be, everybody will just be making dry white wines and they're going to blame yeah. uh, Veronica Ruggeri for having this crazy <laughs> idea and you'll have no more, no friends anymore and you'll have to hide. <laughs> yeah. them. Listen, it's been really nice to talk to you. Thank you very much awesome. for um, bringing the wine in and also for uh, lighting that fantastic fire behind you. Um, we wish you and your family uh, continued yeah, success. <laughs> and uh, take it, take care, and stay safe, and um, hopefully see you soon. Thanks, Veronica. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Monty. It's a pleasure for me. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Listen to all of our pods on SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify, Himalaya FM, and on ItalianWinePodcast.com. Don't forget to send your tweets to at Podcast.